Hello and welcome back to the Cordless Vacuum Guide. After completing the reviews of all Roborock self-emptying robot vacuums, I thought it would be fitting to compare them for this video. Technically, I did not test all of them, but I got to review one from each of the S7, Q5, Q7, and S7 Max V series. And this video is a culmination of these reviews. This will be more of an overview, but you can check the individual reviews for a more detailed glance at each. Roborock recently launched a series of new products starting with the S7 Max V, which is an upgrade over the previous S7 Plus. The S7 Max V is the current flagship Roborock option and its most expensive. The V after the Max symbolizes the Vision technology or Reactive AI 2.0, combining a twin lens camera, 3D sensors, and LED to improve its obstacle avoidance over the S7. In addition to the S7 Max V, Roborock also launched two more affordable options, the Q5 and Q7 series. These options fill the mid-price to lower-range high-end options with the self-emptying feature previously absent in Roborock. However, the Q5 and Q7 series don't have the S7 Max V's premium features like obstacle avoidance, pad washing, or the vibrating mopping pad. All these Roborock options have a self-emptying base station with varying designs. The first auto-empty Roborock option, the S7 Plus, had a twin barrel design, one barrel housing a filter, and the second housing the bag or a dustbin container. Yes, the S7 Plus had a bagless and bagged version available in different regions. The S7 Max V Plus utilizes the same twin barrel base station since it only has the auto-empty feature but not the pad washing feature in the S7 Max V Ultra. Speaking of which, the S7 Max V Ultra has the most feature-rich base station with the self-emptying and pad washing features. One downside to cramming these features is the enormous size, which is not an issue if it stays in one place. All variants have the RAM-style base station with a wide port connecting to the brush roll for emptying debris. I like this design over a dedicated port because it's bigger and more efficient at getting debris from the robot's dustbin. It gets everything out, even a full bin of hair or debris. The S7 Plus, S7 Max V Plus have the largest bag capacity at 3 liters, while the Q5 and Q7 series have a smaller bag capacity at 2.5 liters, while the S7 Max V Ultra is slightly smaller than the Q series at 2.4 liters. All Roborock Smart Robot Vacuums utilize LiDAR or Laser Distance Sensor, which is one of the most precise in the industry at tracking the robot's location. Since it uses laser signals, it does not need a light source. It can function even in pitch dark conditions, so you can run this even with the lights turned off. Roborock's algorithm is one of the more efficient in the market, and these options are among the best during the efficiency test. All Roborock smart robot vacuums start to run cleaning the edges before moving towards the middle portions. And another upgrade Roborock introduced is the mapping run, cutting down map creation time significantly. This feature is available across all Roborock smart robot vacuum options like the S5 Max, S4 Max, S6 Max V, and S7 Plus. Next, we look at model-specific features to help you understand the differences between these models. The top-spec S7 Max V Ultra is the only option with Roborock's latest technologies, Reactive AI 2.0 Obstacle Avoidance, Vibrarize, or the vibrating mopping pad that rises when it detects carpet, and the pad washing feature. The S7 Max V Plus is similar to the Ultra series but minus the pad washing feature. It uses the same robot but with the twin barrel self-emptying base station from the S7 Plus. Roborock has improved its obstacle avoidance in the S7 Max V series over the S6 Max V thanks to the laser sensors and LED. It's excellent at avoiding wires and pet feces with less risk of touching the ladder but still not as good as a Roomba J7 Plus. The S7 Plus doesn't have the obstacle avoidance sensors but retains the vibrarize feature with the vibrating mopping pad. It uses the same twin barrel base station as the S7 Max V Plus and it's the first Roborock with a self-emptying feature. Lastly is the Q-Series robots, the Q5 and Q7, with the redesigned single tower base station. These are the least feature-rich of the Roborock self-emptying options. That's why they're cheaper. The Q7 though has more options. Its higher spec model, the Q7 Max Plus, has a hybrid dustbin and an electronic water tank so it can vacuum and mop simultaneously. The Q5 is more basic with a vacuum-only option. 
Please note that the non-plus models across the product range do not have the self-emptying base station. Warburg uses PA or Pascals as their primary spec for power. However, these figures disclosed by Roverock aren't entirely accurate if you compare them to the airflow figures. For instance, Roverock states on their website that the S7 Max V Ultra has 4,200 Pascals, while the cheaper Q5 Plus has significantly less at 2,700 Pascals, a whopping 43% variance which is substantial. This means that the S7 Max V Ultra performance should be significantly better than the Q5 Plus, but cleaning tests reveal otherwise. Yes, the S7 Max V picked up more debris, but the difference is small. One metric I use to determine power is airflow, using an anemometer. It's not the most accurate, but it helps establish a baseline on how much power to expect from these robots. I use this in all robot vacuum reviews, and there's a correlation between airflow and cleaning performance. High airflow robots like the Roomba S9 Plus will pick up more versus low airflow robots. Other factors will come into play like brush roll design, navigation, or how big the overlaps are. If you look at the airflow scores, the S7 Max V Ultra has the least, maxing out at only 13.39 CFM in the Max Plus setting, while the Q5 Plus has more power at over 15 CFM. As I've said in my other Roborock reviews, Cleaning performance shouldn't be a deciding factor when choosing between these products, and that's the case with this next generation variants. However, hair cleaning performance should be. This is where the bristleless brush roll is better than the older combo brush. Options with the upgraded bristleless brush picked up more hair than the Q5 Plus that had the combo brush. Another plus with the upgraded roller is it's easier to clean up. You can pull hair strands out without it getting caught up on anything. While surface cleaning results are close, there's a noticeable gap between the Q7 Max Plus and the other three options in deep cleaning. It's the only model to pick up under 70%, while the other three range between the mid to high 70s. I'm not sure what to make of these figures, so I'll leave them here for you to judge. Roborock products are historically above average with deep cleaning, but not something I'd recommend to vacuum carpet exclusively, since it doesn't deep clean as well as a full-size stick vacuum or upright. Out of the four primary models, only three have a mopping feature, the Q7, S7, and S7 Max V series. The Q5 doesn't have a mopping feature, that's why it's at least expensive, while the S7 and S7 Max V has the Viberize feature, combining a vibrating mopping pad and pad lifting feature. The Q7 doesn't have a vibrating feature, but only the traditional pad design. There are two options for the Q7, a gravity tank for the cheaper Q7, or the electronic water tank for the Q7 Max series. It won't be as efficient as the S7 with stain removal and may stall when mopping sticky messes like juice stains. Nonetheless, I wouldn't recommend any of these for heavy duty mopping since none can pick up liquid or stain residue. Please note that these Roborock products will only drag a wet pad on the surface. All Roborock products here utilize the same 5200 mAh lithium ion battery with a claim runtime of 118 minutes in the lowest setting. These robots are highly efficient with their algorithm, and the mapping run further enhanced this efficiency during map creation. If you need a robot vacuum inside a large home, Roborock's navigational features make it a compelling option. I used a sound meter to check the noise levels of these robots, and the Q7 Max Plus is the loudest of the bunch exceeding 74 decibels in the max setting, followed by the S7 Max V Ultra, exceeding 72 decibels. Nonetheless, these robots are fairly quiet in the first three power settings and only gets noisy in their max settings. All Roborock robot vacuums are compatible with the Roborock app and have already previewed the new features introduced in the new models earlier. The good news is these features are grandfathered to the older models like the S5 Max. Features like the 3D map, Mapping run and containment are available across the board. These robots will have the same capability of saving up to four map levels with auto map detect, which means it can detect the correct map level based on initial scan. Consumers can customize each map level, add partitions, custom room names, and containment. However, some features like this live camera view is limited to the S7 Max V series since these robots are the only ones with a front facing camera. Also, all options except the Q5 have the water level controls since all are hybrid options with mopping features. 
All models have access to a room or area cleaning where the crisscross cleaning pattern can be accessed. Other features like scheduling, auto emptying options, and maintenance are available across the board. To wrap up this comparison, Roborock's latest options address the gaps present in their previous generation lineups. The Q series addresses the mid-price segment dominated by brands like Roomba, Sharp, and Yeedee. While the S7 Max V series offers two different tiers of convenience for folks who are willing to spend top dollar for an autonomous robot vacuum that does everything from vacuuming to mopping without you having to lift a finger. The S7 Max V Ultra is the culmination of Roborock's technological advancements with its massive base station that does it all, including pad washing and emptying the robot's dustbin. Also, its pad washing feature is one of the better designed options as it does well at keeping the pad clean. Of course, there are limitations to these robots with mopping since none can pick up liquid, so avoid using them to clean heavy food-based spills or liquid. I hope this video has helped you decipher between the different Roborock self-emptying robot vacuum options, and if it did, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. It goes a long way in reaching to more consumers and growing this channel. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I publish new reviews like this and I have a bunch lined up. Links are in the description below for the individual product reviews and comparisons between these self-emptying robots. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.